One of the most important elements of working within an enterprise network is the ability to coexist with multiple different operating systems, and that gets us down to the office package that each desktop machine has, whether it be Linux or Windows. Because many machines and many organizations have their data stored in Microsoft Office formats, Novell has done quite a bit of work in order to make it so that Novell's version of OpenOffice found on the Linux desktop actually interoperates very well with files from Microsoft Office. As an example to this end, let's start up a file that has some complex graphics and layouts in it that was originally composed in Microsoft Word. What we find in this document as we look at it and we scroll down through it is that the text and fonts and things are all laid out the way the document was originally done in a landscape format and even the complex graphics that have been put into it with a layout for print is preserved. We see that these pictures have all been laid out just as they were originally done. And users will also find a lot of accommodations, such as the format copy brush, which allows me to choose the format of some text and apply it to other text. These kind of accommodations are found throughout the Novell version of OpenOffice version 2.0. The Novell version of OpenOffice has some font matching intelligence built into the software that makes it so that a Microsoft Office document comes over into OpenOffice and maintains document fidelity, so layouts work well. But another thing that we've also put a lot of work into is the ability to handle the visual basic macros often found in Microsoft Office documents. As an example, I'm currently opening up an Excel spreadsheet that has macros in it. Of course, as a safety precaution, we have the disable or enable macros warning label that comes up as you open the document. When I say to enable macros, of course, the macros are going to be completely enabled for me. And this is a complex macro doing some mathematical rendering on the screen. So as I click through different things, I can change the graphics with complete interaction. This is all being processed in the Visual Basic macro language. You'll also find that the Novell edition of OpenOffice has the ability to handle complex spreadsheet features such as pivot tables. Within the OpenOffice presentation software, you'll find things like PowerPoint slide transitions are preserved when moving from PowerPoint into OpenOffice. Additionally, within OpenOffice, you'll find things like a slide sorter on the side and a formatter on the other side with the slide able to be worked on right in the middle. Another great feature that end users will like is the ability to export portable document format or Acrobat format documents. By choosing File and then Send, I can choose to export a document as a PDF attachment. And by doing that, it will bring up my mail client after exporting. We watch the progress status indicator go as it generates the file, attaches it to the email going out. And now if we open this PDF document, we can look at it and see if it matches what our original was. And sure enough, it's got the uh, data that we're looking for preserved well in a PDF format. One of the important things about how Novell brought the Linux desktop together is that we have partnerships with companies like Adobe. With Adobe, we have level three support agreements in place so that components like the Adobe Reader on the Linux desktop are fully supported. Your end users will find that the Novell version of OpenOffice provides a familiar and comfortable experience if they're accustomed to working with Microsoft Office.